his aerobatics and his uh, spare time and with his spare change, if you will. Yeah, you know, and this thing is the, the Lucas Oil Geico, and it's kind of like NASCAR. When I was talking to the pilot today, he kept on saying, the Lucas Oil Geico airplane. It just kind of struck me as funny because it was just like NASCAR. Yeah, he's definitely the lowest aircraft of the day. Uh, he was just below bridge level. I didn't go under the bridge, but he was below the, the main deck level of the Second Street Bridge on that back. He actually saw a couple of those rough spots in the bridge up close and personal, as well as the rivets between the second and third span. Man, he came close to the bridge and then was pulled out. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's a minute to brief him that it took us about 15 years to paint that bridge. The other way to hit it, not to bother this one. The, uh, again, the pits is a civilian aircraft. It's what they call a biplane. And a biplane is one of those that uh, has uh, one wing on top of the other. Tremendous power and horsepower. And uh, makes it per second so you get one second it can do a complete revolution on a roll it's got a big engine in it we're looking at about a 325 horsepower engine for that little bitty for airplane that little tiny aircraft and he is doing uh he will have a lot of people talking tomorrow did you see that guy how low he got to the river and uh, uh things like that he's you know some people call those stunts or freaks or however but uh, safety of course is always uh one's concern here at the air show. Yeah, that thing where you just did right there and kind of flip the nose over. On there you would produce a negative G. That's where you get all the blood going to your head. It was always at the airport. You wanted to fly. This is the Lucas Oil Pit Special that uh, Todd and I are watching along the waterfront here at uh, Thunder Over Oval on Bike 106.9. Of course, our coverage continues until midnight tonight. We'll uh, be here with the official soundtrack of uh, of Thunder in HD and Jeff and Kathy coming up this evening at uh, 7 o'clock with uh, uh, the Countdown to Thunder and of course uh, we're going to do a morning show on the radio between 10 and midnight to get you home uh, after you've enjoyed another spectacular Thunder fireworks. This is Thunder number 20 and with a history of the fireworks, here's Vicki Rogers. And everybody likes to hear about the history of Thunder over Louisville and what started as a better than average fireworks display has become the pinnacle of pyrotechnics. It is the nation's largest annual fireworks event and it's also one of the top five air shows in the country. Thunder Over Louisville has made a lot of people happy, garnered international attention, entertained millions, and given greater Louisvillians something else to brag about, in addition to Derby, of course. Thanks to the generous sponsorship of civic-minded companies, Thunder Over Louisville continues to be the special event that brings the community together like no other celebration. Wayne Hettinger put together the very first Thunder. It wasn't quite yet Thunder Over Louisville, but it was the very first opening ceremonies of the day. Now for Thunder.